Um, so my question isn't specifically about anything you really said tonight, although I don't really agree with anything you said. Um, okay. I'm proudly part of the LGBTQ community. Uh, I've always stood up for my community whenever I needed to. Um, I want to focus specifically on, uh, I've been like listening to you for a little bit just to understand some things. Um, a, a live stream you did about Pride Month in June on Facebook because you were no longer allowed on YouTube. Um, the event that you were talking about, I actually had the honor of attending that event uh, with a lot of my really close friends. And I, I found it very perplexing to me how you choose to only focus on the things that are negative when it comes to the queer community. Um, I'm sorry, when it comes to what community? The queer community. Okay. I like, it's funny. It's funny. do you not realize that people like you and people like the people you're around and that, you know, continue to have this idea of us are the reason we feel that we have to be so openly proud of who we are. Your demented homophobic and, and transphobic rhetoric and rants just further prove our point that we have to fight okay. loudly to be respected. The reason that LGBTQIA plus suicide rates are so high in this country isn't just because we're part of the community, it's because there are people like you who make us feel like we don't belong. The only LGBTQ agenda we have is Okay, is, it a, is there a question in there or a speech? Yes. You gotta ask a question, buddy. I how know you wrote you, out how, this out in your notes, but ask a question. Let's how go. How do you and how do you think other people who, with your beliefs respond to the fact that your hateful and harmful rhetoric, rhetoric costs the lives of queer children every single day, on average, every 45 seconds? Okay, so this is just gonna be a pure boogeyman. You're, you're pretending that someone committed suicide because of Candace Owens. You've got no facts here. You're just going, it's your rhetoric that's causing all of this. And when in reality, you wanna talk about the tea? Uh, I sat down with a man named Walt Heyer who was convinced to chop his penis off after your community told him that there was something wrong with him because he had confusion. Why was he trans? Because he was molested when he was four years old by his uncle. Rather than being sat down and spoken to by a psychologist, he was handed hormone pills and he eventually chopped off his penis. Walt Heyer is now 80 years old. He detransitioned and he does a lot of work talking about why it is that he runs a charity, okay, an actual charity that is dedicated to sex change regret of people who have changed their parts and can't go back. And you know what happens? Suicide rates go up after they transition, after they transition. And Candace Owens wasn't the one that chopped their dicks off.